I'd like to give a shout out to the newest member of the comment club. If you want to join the comment club, make sure you leave a comment below. What is going on guys? This is the Kranz Melt here and today I'm going to teach you guys how to earn Madden 18 Elite right now. Now there are tons of ways to earn Elite in Madden 18 right now. There's some by, you know, pre-ordering the game or just having the game is going to give you an Elite, uh, a team Elite of your choice. And then the GOAT Edition is going to give you... Um, one of the five GOAT players, and there's tons of other little tiny ways, you know, there's going to be free solos, you're going to earn elites from the long shot um, game mode, but then there's awesome some things you could do in Madden 17 in order to earn elites or other players and, and items and contracts and things in Madden 18. So recently, Jake Stein, one of the producers at EA, did a little interview on Mutthead, and uh, one of the questions was about loyalty rewards. So, I'm going to show you guys right here, right now, I've earned these loyalty proof collectibles uh, or badges by doing the, the weekly objectives. They're very easy. Um, they take about an hour to two hours, I think, tops. Like, not long at all. Uh, but you're gonna able you'll be able to earn stuff for this game and for next game as well But this is really the main thing you got the proof of completion loyalty badge and now um, Jake Stein basically said in Madden 18 depending on how many of these you did you're going to get that many badges So it, it's fairly easy then you also get more badges if you completed things like Mutt Master mid-season Mutt Master and maybe probably Probably like the, the number of solos you did and the number of online head-to-head -head games you played. So you're gonna earn all these badges and collectibles and you may be saying, well, what do I use them for? Well, let me show you. So it was actually a similar thing in Madden 17. When you first got the game, you earned loyalty things for how many solos you played in the game in 16 and how many head-to-heads you, you played and that sort of thing. You earn these loyalty badges. Well, here are the rewards this year for the loyalty badges. So it's a contract pack. There was a silver player pack. There was a, for offense and defense, there was event tickets, there are pro packs, gold player packs, all pro packs, elite pack, elite players, pretty nice, and a legend pack. So obviously, the better the item, the more it's gonna cost you. Well, Jake actually gave out the information on what the loyalty rewards will be for next year, and I'm gonna read them off to you. I'll also have, have them on the screen for you. So one loyalty voucher is gonna give you a small contract pack 250 contracts. I recommend it. Don't do this unless you have to. If you if you only have one left, I, I guess it might be worth it. Next, we have the eight loyalty vouchers. They're going to give you a large contract pack, 2,500 pack uh, contracts. Don't do this one either. Like contracts, you're going to be able to get them from uh, squad packs and other sorts of things. Next, two loyalty vouchers are going to give you a small ticket pack, which is three event tickets. This might be worth it if you have two left and you don't want to do any of the other stuff. This one might be worth it to do because it's going to give you event tickets for things like draft champion, salary cap, and, and probably uh, other things we don't know from, from right now. Then we have a large ticket pack, which is going to be eight loyalty vouchers, and uh, it's going to give you 15 event tickets, which is pretty, pretty nice, honestly. Next up, we've got one loyalty voucher. It's going to give you a offensive silver player pack, which is going to be eight non-auctionable tradable silver players, which not, it's not bad. Next, we have another one loyalty voucher for a defensive silver player, so you can choose offense or defense with those one, with that one badge. Next up, and this is where I really think most people should spend all of their badges between the next four different sets. We've got both a offensive and a defensive gold player pack. Um, it's going to cost three loyalty um, vouchers, and it's going to give you five non-auctionable tradable gold players you know you got the offensive one you got the defensive one right now we don't know if it's going to be uh repeatable but i i kind of feel like it will be and then the last two are going to be elite player packs one for offense and one for defense both costing eight loyalty vouchers now these all will be non-auctionable non-tradable cards so keep that in mind when you do choose now me personally i i don't think i'm gonna have a ton of vouchers i'm gonna have if they do some from Souls, I'll have them from that. I'm still deciding on whether I want to finish Mutt Master. I thought I was going to get Gronk, so it might not be worth the grind right now. Um, but then I'll get two from that, possibly. I'll have the ones that I got um, from doing the objective. So I, I have a good bit, maybe around 10 to 15 in that, in that range. And honestly, I think I'm going to dump all mine, if they're repeatable, into the gold player packs. 
Now, some of you guys may be like, you got enough for an elite. Why not do it? Well, honestly, you can go for the elite and get that free elite player from just grinding out in, in Madden 17. But I'd rather have... It's like three. So it costs three badges. You could do that set two times. So that costs six. And you get 10 gold players. Or you can do eight badges. Eight vouchers, which is way more. I mean, two more. So, that, I mean, that's more expensive. And you only get one player that's going to affect your team. These gold players could be 72 overalls, but they also could be 84 overalls that are sometimes, I think, even better than some elite cards. So, I honestly think you should just weigh your options there. I, I'm personally leaning towards the gold player, but if you want that highest overall and you're going to be pulling a ton of packs, the, the elite might be the, the elite player might be the way to go. You also could get really lucky and get like the best player in the game. So, I mean, it is what it is. It, it's a toss up really. Uh, you're not guaranteed to get anything, but you know, I'd rather take a bunch of players rather than one good one. So if I find out any other ways for you guys to earn Madden 18 elite players right off the bat, I will definitely uh, let you guys know. But that is the, the, only, the only couple of ways that I know right now. It's gonna be the loyalty, you know, playing long shot, uh, pre-ordering the game and, and just buying the game is going to give you an elite player right off the bat so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video hopefully this helps you guys out um, also another way rookie premieres you might be able to earn elites later on uh, if they do get upgrades so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video drop a like on the video if you guys did subscribe to the channel if you guys are new uh, I'm going to be posting a lot more Madden 18 uh, news and updates and content when that stuff comes out so I will see you guys in the next video peace out I wish I was quick, we asking how them haters felt. Like and subscribe to the page, it's the greatest smell. Pause the game and check the squad, you need to brace yourself. Boy, you getting clowned on, we ain't talking Dave Chappelle and Picks, we got them. Hit sticks, we got them.